the Desert Orchid Handicap Chase, three mile, three furlong. Zero to 125 year old plus. And up the top we've got Gospels for Leon Van Rensburg. Joint favourite, Glenn Mostara for Go Sappers. Grey and Ambience, Robin Deschamps. Obi-Wan is the other joint favourite. James Gray, Maid of Honour, Coupe de Ville, Big Future. King's Desire, Mighty Dev, Lucky Money, War Pointer, Corsican Boy and winning race for Doug Warren Racing. And they're racing. Well, trainer's notes. One trainer hoping that the John Morgan horse has got a... a liking to falling. But it uh, doesn't happen too often where you see a horse fall two races in a row. So I'd say that is one of the joint favourites. That's Glenn Mostara. And it'll be hard to beat. So they come on down to the second of 24. And they're all over it safely. A little slower there was King Desire. Uh, is it King Desire? No, Corsican Boy, sorry. Jumped a little slow. Similar colours here. There's double entry race. So a few trainers have got um, two horses in. So pretty long race. There's not any real pace at the moment. It's pretty even. All still standing over the fourth. And Lucky Money now is our new leader. Go past the big screens and that four wheel drive there, probably bogged. Past the winning post, probably a couple of laps to go. We're here at Wincanton. So take the fifth. Caught wide on the track as Robin does champs. And also out there is uh, Gospels. So they take the water. That wide group is slowly going backwards. Gospel finds to be near the fence, one off. So one joint favourite's railing like a greyhound, the other one's caught wide. So it's Lucky Money, two to Corsican Boy, three quarters on the fence, Glen Moss Tara. Then we've got Mighty Dev. Also up there is Coupe de Ville, winning race, War Pointer. My screen's just gone a bit funny, I don't know if that'll happen for you at home. Hell yeah. Hope this lines up in the race calls. Shocking. Rubber banding badly. Anyway, we might be right now. So it's Lucky Money from Glen Moss Tara, Corsican Boy. So Lucky Money's opened up the lead here by at least three lengths. Coupe de Ville between them. Down on the fence is Mighty Dev having a nice race. Also there, Grain Ambience, winning race, War Pointer, James Gray, Robin to Champs, still caught wide, King Desire as they take the next. Uh, big Future, Maid of Honour and Gospels. 14 furlongs left to run, 2,800 metres. Over the 12th they go. Everyone's still standing. Let's hope they, they're all standing at the end of the race. Hope every trainer gets good run for their money. Oh, we've lost one. I spoke too early. Mighty Dev. And another one's getting pulled up here. Um, Martin Leadham's horse, Maid of Honour. So take the next one. Another one's crashed. Oh, it's the favourite. Glenn Mostara is out of the race. Well, you don't see it too often, but we've seen it today. Will it survive the transfer window, Glen Mostara? Over the 15th, 
All of a sudden the trainers at home have perked up and they've moved a little bit closer to their screens. A little bit more keen now watching their horses. Up and over the water they go and grey and ambience. Out wider for Darren Howes. Between them Corsican Boy for Stu Grey. Oh, jump fast jump there from Corsican Boy. Jumps it into the lead from Grey and Ambience. King Desire, Lucky Money, winning race out wider. Up and over the ditch. Then we have War Pointer, uh, Coupe de Ville, Gospels, James Grey, Big Future, and the other favourites at the tail, Robin de Champs. They run on down to the seven furlong. And up and over the next they go, and it's King Desire, winning race. Corsican Boy poking up on the fence, Grey and Ambience, War Pointer, Coupe de Ville, Lucky Money, over the ditch. Uh, also there, Gospels, Big Future, James Gray, Robin the Champs, but Coupe de Ville swooped to the lead here at the five and a half. And running on out wider now is Leon's horse, Gospel, but it's King Desire, Stu Gray. From Coupe de Ville, Gospels, Corsican Boy, Winning Race, Grey and Ambience, War Pointer, Big Future running on. So too James Gray, Lucky Money and Robin de Champs, the only one who can't win at the four furlong. Up and over the 21st. And Coupe de Ville jumped at well, but it's Gospels in front. It's going to be hard to run down from here. They take the home turn, three furlongs left. Three more to get over. Come to the third last, up and over. Gospels jumped at well. From Coupe de Ville, War Pointer, Big Future. Stu Grey horses are still running on. Inside the two furlong and over the second. Oh, it's walked through at the leader. Gospels still on his feet, but Big Future looms up with Coupe de Ville and War Pointer. They come on down to the furlong and the last. And they race to it and up and over and Warp, uh, Big Future jumps it way better and moves into the lead. And it's Big Future in front of the half and he won't get caught from Gospels. Also there, Warp Point, uh, Coupe de Ville winning race. But uh, Big Future wins from Gospels. I'm not sure on third. There was a group of them. And Daniel French, congratulations with Big Future. A strong win. Gospels carried the top weight. Ran second, probably blew it at the last. Third, Keep de Ville for Doug Warren. Fourth, War Pointer for Alex Sherry. And fifth was Winning Race for Doug Warren Racing.